Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to another Music and Maths Discover video. I'm a musician, I play this wonderful thing called the tuba. But I also absolutely love maths. Uh, and one of the things that I love about maths and music is that there are absolutely loads and loads of overlaps between the two subjects. Um, hidden in music, there's loads of maths. Um, in this video in particular though, we're going to focus on graphs and how a graph can show uh, the relationship between two different things. Before we look at how a graph can be used to create a piece of music or to alter a piece of music maybe, we, do, we first need to have some music to play, don't we? Um, so I'm just going to uh, very quickly go about generating some rhythms with you all. Um, a really nice way of creating rhythms, I think, is to use words, like an, an old-fashioned chant almost. Um, you, if you can create a, a chant, you've also created a really nice rhythm instantly. Um, I'm obviously feeling quite hungry. Some of my friends would say I'm always hungry. Um, but uh, a, a chant that's just popped into my head is, I like to eat peas. Pretty simple chant, but we can clap that as well. So it would sound like this, I like to eat peas. Peas. Do you think you could do it at home? Ready? After four. One, two, three, go. I like to eat peas. I like to eat peas. Now we've removed the chant, we've just got a really nice rhythm. And if you can clap it, you can definitely play it on a musical instrument. Now I happen to have a tambourine here. This is what it would sound like. I like to eat peas. I'm aware not everyone's got a tambourine at home, but you, I'm pretty sure you'll have a pot or a pan that you could um, play with a wooden spoon or find something you could shake, even some keys or something. Uh, maybe a, a mop bucket even uh, could be hit with a, a wooden spoon. Um, or you might even have a tuba. In all seriousness, you probably don't have a tuba, but um, you might have a musical instrument with pitch. And if you've got a musical instrument with pitch, you can actually add some notes. So I like to eat peas could become this. So you can see that just from this one idea of liking to eat peas, we've actually created lots of options. We can clap, we can chant, uh, we can tambourine, or we can play the tuba in my case. Now, if I put those options on top of the drum beat, <laughs> sound quite nice doesn't it so what I'm going to ask you to do now is that in a moment you're going to pause the video and I want you to generate your own chant uh, probably a nice idea to do it about food what I mean it could be even what, what you're having for dinner this, this evening um, in my case I'm having a curry tonight so it'd be curry for Mike curry for Mike or whatever you know come up with your own rhythmical pattern practice clapping it Practice, find yourself a musical instrument to play as well, that, that's really important. Um, so you can either hit pause now or I'll put you on hold with some nice tuba hold music. All right. <laughs> Okay, so you should now have some really nice food-based chants that you can clap really accurately and that you hopefully you've found a musical instrument of some sort to play on uh, as well. It's now time for the maths of the graphs section of our video. We're going to look at a few different graphs and how they can uh, indicate to us as musicians how to alter our piece of music. Remember, a graph is basically a way of um, showing a relationship between two different things. In our case, it's always going to be time, because in music we're always going through time, and then various different things. This first graph, ping, hopefully it's arrived anyway. Um, this first graph shows how volume 
can change in a piece of music. So on the, the bottom axis, you've got time, and on the axis going up, you've got volume. And you can see that with the line, it goes up and up and up and up throughout the piece of music. Now, if I was to play that on the tuba, it would sound like this. So you can hear it's getting louder and louder throughout the graph. Okay, so we're now going to change graphs. Ping! And this new graph shows the relationship between the speed of music and how long the music lasts for. And as you can see by the line in the graph, it's going to get slower and slower and slower. Now I'm going to play that for you on the tambourine, so it'll start really fast and then it'll get gradually slower. So you can hear it's getting slower and slower. This might be an opportunity, by the way, everyone, to pause your video again, just so you can have a little go at getting faster and slower with your rhythms and your chants, and also getting louder and quieter with your rhythms and chants. Again, I'll put you on uh, hold with some tuba music. All right. We can even use a graph to show pitch. The next graph here um, is a bar graph and it shows you four notes that I want you to play. So on my tuba it would sound like this. example. So you can see that we've had graphs for volume, graphs for speed and now graphs for pitch. Uh, I want you to pause the video in a second and I want you to have a real good play around with making some graphs for volume, for speed and even for pitch if you've got a pitched instrument. I want you to really experiment with this using your chants from before um, and see what you can come up with. You should be able to come up with some really nice ideas. Uh, so I'll, we're going to go on to hold now, or again, I'll put some hold tuba music on if necessary. All right. <laughs> Okay, so you, hopefully you've all had fun uh, playing around with those graphs and uh, getting some nice interesting patterns going musically. Uh, we're now going to use a couple of graphs just to create a piece where we can all pull, perform together. So this first graph, back on the screen now, is for anyone playing a pitched instrument. And you can see it's just a high pitch and then it gets lower, lower, lower. I mean, if it's the tuba, it sounds like this. <laughs> example. Um, but I'm aware that not everyone will have a pitched instrument. So some of you might be on tambourine or some of you might be on drums or mop bucket even. Um, if you're on one of those in uh, instruments, remember your chant from earlier. We're going to take that old rhythm. So in my case, it was uh, I like to eat peas. And that's the rhythm that we're going to use. Now this other graph that we've got, and hopefully it arrives on the screen now, this other graph shows uh, how volume and speed are going to change in our piece of music. You can see that both volume and speed are going to increase. So we're going to start off quite slow and quite quiet, and we're going to gradually get faster and faster and faster and faster, and louder and louder and louder and louder. So we're going to try and play it. So it might be that you're on a pitched instrument, or it might be that you're playing your old chant. For me, it was, I like to eat peas, for example. Uh, here we go, let's play all together. I should have my tuba ready and an offstage tambourine. Excellent. 
Nice and slow to start with everyone. Here we go. Uh, one, two, three, go. <laughs> different graphs there to make some really nice music. I hope you could keep up. If not, rewind the video and try again. All right? Wow, that was awesome, wasn't it? I've always wanted a floating uh, tambourine arriving mid-video. That was really exciting. Um, it's now time for you guys to explore these graphs some more. So it'd be great if you can um, go offline now and uh, make some volume graphs, make some speed graphs, and even make some pitch graphs and really explore generating some brand new music. Um, I suspect it will sound epic, some of these creations that you come up with. Um, and if it does, and if you're really proud of it, please do film yourselves doing it and send it into the Royal Albert Hall. Um, we'd love to hear and see some of these fantastic videos of you getting stuck in mathematically, but also musically. Um, there are loads of other videos around from the Royal Albert Hall so please do have a little explore on the website and see what other things you can get stuck into as well um, but for now that is all from me thanks very much bye bye